Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the video lectures on computer vision. In the last lecture in OpenCV, we are actually on a hands-on coding exercise where we saw about how we can detect lanes uh, in a video. So we used the cv2.hug uh, line sp method and then we did some sort of noise removal uh, gaussian blur median blur and all of those kind of things so i hope you are now absolutely comfortable with all of the basic concepts in open cv and you have practiced uh, practice them as well uh, in this video lecture we'll be talking about background removal in open cv so i hope you all have uh, like those basic uh, photo editing softwares installed on your phones like where you can subtract the background uh, remove the foreground maybe subtract the foreground keep the background and you can do all those kind of manipulations so the same manipulations is available to us in opencv as well so in this video which is again a hands on coding exercise what we will be doing is that we are having a video of a highway in which cars are crossing and let's say there are staircases there are forests there are light shades there is a metro coming as well and i am considering all of these as the background and the cars that are passing the lane as foregrounds so i want to subtract the backgrounds that is everything except the passing cars in my video and show it to you so i will be using the method of background removal uh, here so in case you're still not comfortable with the idea of background removal so windows has this like a software called paint 3d where you have this feature called uh, magic crop right so let's suppose you have a scenery and a person standing in front of that scenery and you maybe you want to crop that person right so you can use the like magic crop and select the edges of the person and then copy and paste like copy and paste him in the different uh, image as well so you are actually like uh, subtracting the background when you are actually copy pasting it into a different image so if you are not very comfortable with the idea of background removal you can actually check out that tool and then like you can come back to this video lecture and then start reading about it or maybe see the like our hands on coding exercise as well so without wasting much of our time let's get started on this so i will quickly go up and find my jupyter notebook and import the required libraries so my required libraries are numpy and uh, cv2 and then i have this video which i am naming as, as video video is equal to cv2 dot uh, video capture and then i am passing the name of the video which is bg dot mp4 and once this is done so i will now show you uh, like how the video actually looks like so i will use i will use the while true loop uh, while true frame is equal to uh, video dot read and then this is how the video actually looks like so using cv2 dot im show uh, window comma frame and then cv2 dot uh, wait e of let's say i'm waiting for 50 seconds or 50 milliseconds actually e and if key is equal to equal to 27 that is i press an escape button so let me just break out of from here video dot release and then cv2 dot destroy all windows so this is how your video actually looks like so everything except the cars that are passing in the lane you see are actually my uh, background and the car is my foreground so what i want to do is i want to subtract everything from the video and only let the cars see through i mean you can actually see the cars so that is my foreground and everything is other than that is background so i hope you are now comfortable with the idea of foreground and background and what we have considered this in this picture so only the cars passing through is the background maybe the metro as well but everything other than that is actually like um like the background but the cars that are passing through are the foreground i'm sorry if i'm mistaken here everything except the cars everything except the cars in the metro that is maybe your staircase your uh, lightning pole and uh, maybe some other thing as well are the background but the cars that are passing through and maybe the metro that is passing through as well is my foreground so now you have a method known as cv2 dot absolute difference so i will go ahead and show you the prototype of this function so this function takes in two arguments that is the first image and the second image and actually calculates the absolute difference between them so you understand that the video file is actually based on a frame of images like every video file is actually an image right a frame of images like these are the frame of images that are um, ordered in an, that is actually that are actually made in an order and then you actually iterate through all of these images and actually get a video file so every video file is nothing but a sequence of images right so what i can do is that maybe i have the first frame which let's suppose is the first image in this case and i get that first image and from that like uh, and now i stored it somewhere and uh, from the series of videos or the series of images that i have in the video i can actually subtract the first frame and get my 
like foreground right like uh, i will again repeat like what i am actually trying to say i, I hope like i am able to convey like what i am saying uh, suppose like uh, what i will be doing here is that uh, i'll be first capturing a frame my very first frame from the video and th from that very first frame i'll be subtracting the rest of the frames so let's say the first frame does not have like only has the background and has no cars passing through it right so from every frame uh, because by calculating the absolute difference the background will get subtracted and only the cars and the metro will actually stay so this will be more clear once i actually code this up so let's say i am actually like uh, first i'm storing my first frame so let's say i'm storing my first frame uh, in a variable known as first frame and i can show that using c uh, video dot read so this will actually get the first frame from me right and then what i'll be doing is i will be using frame is equals to cv2 dot absolute difference and then in the absolute difference i will pass in the first image which is my first frame and then my frame i hope you get my point now like i'm calculating the very first frame and from the first frame i'm actually subtracting the subsequent frames right so you will actually now get to see the result however there are some certain calculations and certain more manipulations that were required to do but we'll be doing that in the next video lecture for the in, in the interest of the time but uh, let us run this program and see what the required output is so i will go ahead and run this piece of code and run this piece of code as well so as you can see now only if the cars are visible and nothing in the background are visible right so like this is how we subtract the uh, i mean background in open cv we'll be doing more manipulations on this to get a better view so uh, let's stop this lecture here and then in the next lecture maybe we can convert this into a grayscale image and do some kind of thresholding and gaussian blur or median blur kind of technique to actually get a better view but i hope you actually get the point of what background removal actually is so see you in the next one thank you